Hello, I just wanted to come and chat with you. It's this cold day in January. We're in the middle of this polar vortex. And over the last couple of weeks, we've had some pretty bad weather. Um, I've been canceled out of a couple churches. We've had a number of meetings that we've been at, that we were planning and got canceled. It seems like our life is being disrupted by all of this. Um, I've had some people even say to me, you're the bishop, can't you do something about this weather? Um, which means that you think I can do more than I really can. Um, but it kind of interrupts our life in some ways. And we're all busy. Everything is busy all the time. There are so many meetings, so much information coming at us in so many different ways. And I know it's true in the Synod office, but it's also true for everybody out in the congregations. And I recognize that. We live in a culture where everything has to be done right away. You know, everything has to be instant. Even the oatmeal has to be instant. Um, and I recently read where um, we're dropping the amount of breakfast cereal we're eating, and the reason is is people don't have time to eat a bowl of cereal anymore, so they just eat a granola bar. We are in such a hurry. So it's possible that I can't do anything about the weather, but it's also possible that it's God's way of using this time of the year to tell us to slow down. That it takes time for us to be disciplined in our faith. And there are disciplines in our faith life that we need to be practicing. Disciplines like silence and meditation and prayer. And I know there are places in our synod where those things are being lifted up. Um, I was particularly um, enthused that Mike Allwine is running a series of um, classes on the examine prayer in the next month or so for the folks down in Gettysburg to really think about how to examine each day of our lives and how God is active in our lives. One of our deep concerns always for our rostered leaders is their wellness and their spiritual well-being. It's why we're going to have a wellness retreat in a, in a week or so. Um, and that retreat is really about how to strengthen the spiritual life, the physical life, and the emotional life of our leaders. And maybe the most important part of that time apart is to have a time apart where we stop running so quickly and spend some time in prayer and in thought. We're lucky to have John Herman coming with us um, to spend some time with us and to help us work through some of these issues. We hear these themes in scripture. We hear it in the Psalms. Psalm 46, be still and know that I am God. Be still is such a command from God. And even in the New Testament, Jesus, in Mark's Gospel, the apostles were gathered around Jesus and told them all they had done and taught. And he said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. I think perhaps this time of the year, January, and the snow is God's way of giving us a little time of Sabbath and a little time to slow down. I used to work with a guy and he said to me, you know, sometimes we need to stop working because there's six feet of snow and that may happen for us in January. But he said, there are also days when there's six feet of sunshine and we need to slow down. I hope that you have the opportunity in the coming weeks and months to find some time to slow down and to rest, whether there's six feet of snow or six feet of sunshine. God bless and have a great day.